But assumption number three is that we're siblings or we're related, we're brother and sister. Baby, I think it's time we should tell them the truth. No, not yet. So I hope we did answer. Oh, oh my God. Ay, mama. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to our channel. Hope everyone's having a great day. For today's video, we're gonna be having a quick little gingerbread building architectural challenge and see who can actually build the better gingerbread house. What it's do you a think? castle. A castle, whatever. I mean, obviously it's gonna be me. Before we get started, I want what? you guys to go down below and drop a comment on who you guys think is gonna make the better gingerbread castle. Me? Have you ever made one before? No, I haven't. I haven't, but I mean, I got beginner's luck, and that's why I think I'm gonna win. And also, in this video, we are gonna be answering a few assumptions you guys might have about us. I asked you guys on Instagram to send me a few. So we got some pretty juicy ones, and they're kinda like weird. So we are gonna be answering them. But still, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. If y'all do, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. We are posting every single day. We're, this is what, day six of Vlogmas? So wait, once it's Christmas Day, we're done? I think we're gonna record Christmas Day, but that's the last one. But if you guys enjoy the daily videos, I mean, we might be able to make it happen if I find somebody to edit the videos, cause <laughs> I I'm barely sleeping. <laughs> so again, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get right into it. All right, everyone, so before we get into the assumptions, let's go ahead and open up the box and take everything out. This is so cute. Damn, look how big this, what is this, the, the frosting, right? The icing. I'm gonna open it up and just, I'm so tempted to just like Ooh. break yours. I'm so tempted, give it to me. Stop, break your own. No. <laughs> Wait, is yours cracked? No. Is yours? No, it smells good. Yeah. Yo, this is my, actually, no, this is my second time building a gingerbread house. The first time was in sixth grade. So you just lied to me? I forgot until now. You're, let me guess, you you did it with another girl. No, it was in class. Well, Por eso. technically, yes. Yeah, of course. Okay, so we have all the gingerbread walls for the castle. We have something in here. It might be candy or something. Another, wait, what is this? Where's the box so I can see what it has? Oh, I think this is the grass. It's grass? Like, it's green. I'm kind of nervous because the first time I did it, like, it, the walls didn't even stay up. They just fell. Okay, well, I mean, I honestly don't even know where to start. You gotta build up the walls, baby. Okay, assumption number one is your girlfriend does all the cleaning and all the cooking. What is it, baby? What is it? No, what is it? Well, of course. Well, I do. I wouldn't. If I say I do most of the cleaning, you're gonna call me a liar. No. I'm not, you know what, I'll admit you do do most of the cleaning, but that's just because either I'm editing a video or doing something else. Yeah, but, playing Fortnite. But I do clean though. Oh, right. What about the, the cooking? Because in the other apartment, you did used to cook. Yeah, I used to cook a lot, guys. When we first moved out, I used to cook so much. Everything from chicken to chicken <laughs> and chicken. Cereal. Cereal. Right now, I would say my girlfriend does most of the cleaning and all the cooking. I haven't most cooked. Most of the cleaning? Most of the cleaning. There we go. Fondant. Why do you say it like that? That's how you say it. It's fondant. <laughs> how do you say it? Fondant? It's fondant. <laughs> Yo, quick fun fact about me, I used to love baking everything from baking cakes, especially Tres Leches cakes. Ooh, I'm talking about Tres Leches cakes. Yo, guys, my girlfriend is the only Mexican I have ever met that doesn't like Tres Leches cakes. It, bread is what do you not say? meant you to are, be wet. You are a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what? Oh, guys, she also doesn't like horchata. Okay. You don't like okay. Go down below. Go down below and make fun of her roaster <laughs> for being a fake Mexican. Man, whatever. I'm not fake. You know what else she doesn't like? Uh -huh. You know what else she doesn't like? Tre what, what was it? Arroz con leche. Oh, oh it's no. It's all the same concept. Oh no. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to attempt to put minds together. So now the second assumption is that Liz wears the pants in their relationship. 
What does that mean? I don't know why a lot of people think this because it is obviously not true. Like there is no pants. They're shorts? <laughs> shorts. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> it just had to be mine, right? <laughs> Oh my god. Well, there's my castle. <laughs> Hi, baby. Can't borrow yours. So, who wears the pants? Nobody. Nobody has to wear pants. You know, we have like a decision that we have to make. Who's the one that says yes or no? We decide together. Like what? Like if we want to go eat? He's been wanting to buy a $300 toaster, okay? He asked me what I thought. It's a cool toaster. And I told him that it was really stupid to waste $300 on a toaster that only has room for two toasts, yes, not even four. But you can pick how burnt you want the toast. Like You can do that with all the other toasts. No, you can't. Yes, you can. You can't see like the picture of it happening. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, trust me, it's a cool toaster. <laughs> That's why your wall fell. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, in the end, I guess I can say we both wear the pants in the relationship. So if we ever have to do something or want to do something, we kind of just decide together. <laughs> just like she said, the toaster, I asked her if I could get it. She said no, so guess what? I didn't get it. <laughs> so does that mean that you wear it? <laughs> Does that mean you wear the pants? <laughs> oh man, I thought I did. Hi oh, baby, I know every guy thinks that. Baby. Yo, my wad don't want to stay up. <laughs> and you have experience. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's what you get. But assumption number three is that we're siblings or we're related, we're brother and sister, cousin, whatever. For some reason, a lot of people think we look alike. Like, what do you guys think? Do we look alike? <laughs> Baby, I think it's time we should tell them the truth. No, not yet. Babe. What do you think we should do it? I think we should just tell them. Are you sure? Yeah. Because it might... We're going to get a lot of hate because they have seen us, like, kiss in videos. Baby, that's because they don't know where we're actually from. <laughs> where? <laughs> Alabama? <laughs> Nah, stop. What if somebody's actually from there? <laughs> hey, you're the one that brought it up. I didn't say where. But we you all said but it. But we all knew where you were talking from. I don't know why you spitting. <laughs> <laughs> what do those hands do, mamas? What? Edit. Your hands. Oh, uh, clean, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, baby. Mine's looking pretty good. Yours is looking good. Baby. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna have enough icing to put your candy. Yes, I am. Damn, all up on my grill. Yo, guys, this is what I deal with all the time. Her just making fun of me at everything I do. But anyways, going back to the assumption, does this answer your question? Yes, she's my sister. No, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. I mean, obviously guys, she's my girlfriend, like... I, I mean, they know I'm your girlfriend. They well, wanna yeah. know if we're actually like related. No, we're not related, we're from Texas, and... His we're... family just like adopted me, but yeah. we, didn't, we didn't like grow up. It's not like blood blood, so... It's so I don't right. think it counts. What are you doing? I just want to ask you one question. Do we get to put like other types of candy that doesn't come with this? What do you want me to put on my castle? Just a few gums. <laughs> and while you're at it, you can put one in your mouth too. Does that mean we can put non-food items on our castle? Because I'll bring you the hairbrush so you can put it on yours. Orale. You're mean! Ow. It doesn't look bad. <laughs> it doesn't look bad. I'm just playing. Hey, there we go. I finally got my walls up. Everything's good. <laughs> what? I wish my wall was slanted like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm gonna say something no, again. I'm gonna it. break it. I'm gonna break it. Hey! hey. So now moving on to assumption number four is that we eat all the product that we sell. Is that true? Mm, 
It was in the beginning. No, but it was actually, I wouldn't say it used to be worse, but we used to eat a yes. lot more product in the very beginning just because, I mean, I'm pretty sure anybody's gonna be the same. If you start a vending business, you have a lot of drinks and soda and candy in your closet, trust me, you are gonna be eating it. Like right now, the main thing I, I would only eat from what we sell is either chips, what else? Um, Just Kit chips, Kat. chips or Kit Kats, that's pretty much all I eat. But you, you eat donuts, chips, what else? Mm, cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls. Gatorade, water. Gatorade. But the reason why I always ate the product when I first got started is because I used to always eat snacks either way. I used to always eat chips, cookies, junk food. So I might as well eat the product that I sell because I get it a lot cheaper. Like if I get a bag of chips from the ones that I sell, that bag of chips costs me like 40, 50 cents compared to if I go down the street to a corner store and buy it for a dollar fifty. Like that's why I always ate the product because it was, even though I was still using my own product, it was cheaper than going to the store. That makes sense. You remember those good old days? I used to have a projector in my, in my room back at my parents' house. We used to just sit there, watch movies, watch YouTube videos, and just eat the product. Good old days. Good old days. Alright guys, so now assumption number five is that we know how to throw hands. So, I mean, do we know how to fight, mamas? I don't. Bruh. You don't know how to fight? So if my girlfriend ever gets drunk, like, it's a guaranteed fact that she's just gonna get beat up. But to answer that question, uh, my girlfriend doesn't have any fighting experience. But yes, I do. You do? I've been in a fight before. Really? Yeah, I was in fifth grade. Now for me, I wouldn't say I'm like a good fighter, but I was in boxing for about a year and a half back in middle school, so I do have some fighting experience. Hey, there we go, I got my base up, I got my walls decorated, what's next? The little and candies? The candies. Is it really, I gotta see the picture. Oh, they just put the fondant on the window right. Yeah, but I don't think I'm gonna do that, it's too hard. Yes, sir. Got my windows up, mamas. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, so now moving on to the next assumption is that we're a very happy couple. We're not. <laughs> Damn, don't say it like that. <laughs> say it all depressed. depressed and sad. I don't know, because there was a like a good while where we would just fight every single day. Yeah, we used to fight a lot, guys, back, when was it? Like last year, right? Yeah. It was last year and it was just cause, I don't know, I don't, honestly I don't remember much from last year. And we would never find like a solution sometimes, like <laughs> it was so stressful cause we could go like, what, two to three days just not even talking or seeing each other, we're just in like two separate rooms. <laughs> it was miserable. It was our first time moving out together so whenever you're with somebody all day, every day, like you gotta find a balance. I would always want to be with you too, and then I knew you wanted your space and it would hurt my feelings more, so I would just like, come at you. Yeah, that's why I said, I mean, you just gotta find a balance. Now, it's, it's not like we got tired of each other, because we still live with each other, and we still, you know, always talk, and we are happy, we are happy. But, we used to, we used to argue a lot, basically. No! What happened? Is that sticking? What am I gonna put right there? <laughs> I can't put a red one or a green one because there's gonna be two. Unless I move this one up. Yeah, just scoot it over. This looks nothing like if it's from Super Mario. Wait, where are those? Oh, here they are. The little mushrooms. Also, if you guys remember a few videos ago whenever my girlfriend pregnant me, if you guys didn't watch it, go watch it because I, I, I cried on <laughs> camera. It was embarrassing. But at the very end, I mean, I basically grabbed the tree, our Christmas tree, and I threw it. And a lot of people were wondering if the tree was good after or like did it break. And nah, 
<laughs> it was good. Well, it did fall apart. We had to put it back together. Yeah, it like came apart, so we had to put it together, but it didn't break or nothing. It's up and it's good. <laughs> Sorry, Tree. I still gotta get you back, so. I ain't trying to do that, though. Somebody said that the, the prank wars started, so. I'm kind of scared, honestly. Did you take my stars? No. Yes, you did. My st I oh. <laughs> Damn. Okay, another quick assumption is that I never tell you no, or I never say no to you. Now, this is this is actually the opposite on videos, just because I like to make fun of her on videos and I don't let her get nothing, but in real life, I literally never say no to her. You've never said no to her. I me. never do. <laughs> like, she loves Takis and I hate whenever she eats them because they're bad for her, but she'll come up to me with her sad little face and be like, can I have some Takis? And I'm like, how do, how do I say no to that? <laughs> Oh, baby. So I just like I just say yes to everything cuz like whenever I was with my mom We had like ice cream or something. We always had to ask like every single time you <laughs> wanted something and If we wanted more you had to ask again. Really? Yeah, you had to ask again. Why? Because like there's just there were so many of us in that house There was there yeah, were, our big family. Yeah, they wanted it to rindir. How do you say that? La last last I mean with my family it was it was six of us too So we had a big family But if my brother was eating all the yogurts in one day and I went up to my mom and told her my mom would get mad at me Because she would be like that's what the food is for to eat it <laughs> Yeah, my mom would be it was weird because sometimes she would say that and sometimes you know She would get on to you like hey, there's some of us that want some of that too, you know, like don't be stingy I don't know mamas. I think I'm done Really? Yes. You still don't even have your front decorated. Yeah, I do. I started. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I can't I can't buy mine. Oh, I hurt my tooth. What is it made out of brick? All right, everyone, we are finally done. Check it out. Okay, so now we want you guys to pick which one you guys like better, of course. I mean, it has to be mine. What? Mine, mine came looks out. so homey. Yours does, but mine, I think mine looks better. I'm actually going to be putting a poll on top of the video. Click the, the eye. I think it's over here, up here, somewhere. But there's going to be a poll on top of the video. Click it and pick who has the better castle. So what does the loser do? I don't know, we'll probably figure it out in the next video, but I want you guys to go and choose which one you guys like better. Should we try it? Eat it? I don't want to eat my house. Why? We no. gotta taste it. Make we, sure already, we already tried the little mush marshmallow. What do you want to do with it? I'm gonna keep it. You're not gonna keep it. Why? Baby no. No. Baby. No. I'm putting my hand down right now. I'm putting my foot down too. Okay guys, for some reason my girlfriend wants to keep hers. I'm not gonna keep mine. I'm gonna actually try mine and see if it's good. Ah, it's hard. It's so hard. Baby, all that hard work. You know what? I'm gonna break it. I want- I Ooh! <laughs> no, it failed! <laughs> I was so tempted to do this from the very beginning. I'm trying to cover its eyes. There you go. No, baby, it's falling apart. Can you help Fix me? Fix it, mama. Baby, I helped you. Help me. All right, but anyways, that's going to be pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Mine is a complete disaster now. I mean, we still have...
Hey. I wanted to do it too. So I hope we did answer. Oh, oh my God. Ay, mamas. Ahorita I'm gonna help you put it together. Yo guys, drop a like on this video for my girlfriend. She just wanted to keep her gingerbread house. And also, I do hope we did answer a few of you guys' assumptions about us. But with that being said, we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video and peace out. Bye. Let's fix your house, mamas. Ruined.